So those, uh, you know, in the forest, we get natural fire. Have you seen the natural fire? Because of some uh, wind, strong wind, uh, naturally the forest get burned. Burning of plants, we say natural fire. So they ha have seen this fire. So during the forest fire, they learned that meat and plant roots that got cooked in the natural fire would taste better. But they don't know actually how to cook food. In that fire, if they cook food, it tastes better, they know, but in the natural fire only they have seen, they don't know how to make fire also. That's the reason they don't know how to cook food in the fire. They, don't, they did not know how to make or control fire. So that's the reason they used to eat the raw food. So about the food, children, early humans, they used to hunt animals using sharp stones and in group they go and hunt the animals so that they can they could hunt large sized wild animals even woolly mammoth that has strong long tusk and hair then giraffe goat deer antelope all kind of animals they used to hunt and they eat it as it is they eat that's why it's called raw meat they eat the animal as it is so because What's the reason behind that? Because they did not know how to cook food. Only natural fire they have seen and they know, just know that in the if they cook food in the fire, it tastes better. But the natural fire they have seen, but they don't know how to make, they did not know how to make fire. That's the reason they eat raw meat as the food. Okay? Yes, children, so early men, they learned that the meat and the plant roots, if they cook or that cooked in natural fire tasted better, but they did not know how to make fire. But finally, how by accidentally, they invented fire also. How, let us see, fire. How early man accidentally invented fire. By accidentally rubbing two stone against each other, they learn to make fire. Yes, by rubbing two stones together, suddenly what happened? Yes, the fire. They came to know that we, uh, by rubbing the two stones together, this they get fire. The stones produced a little spark of fire while they were uh, rubbing two stones. What happened? A little spark came out of that and this is how the early humans learned to make and control fire. Then they started using fire. Now they can cook after uh, inventing fire. They, they cook food in that and they tasted it. Then they, uh, they also use fire to keep themselves warm. Then to scare away wild animals because they lived in dense forest wild animals were there so to scare away them they used fire to cook food they use fire also to keep themselves warm when it is winter it is too cool to keep themselves warm they use fire yes twigs of plants twigs small small branches or small small leaves uh, twigs of plants dry sticks leaves and grass were used to keep the fire burning to keep the fire burning they use all these things huh? small small leaves plants grass everything dry sticks everything they put and they used to burn used to keep the fire burning and this is how early humans invented fire and use and control use fire and cook food and to control it okay Yes, so children, now how they used to transport the things, things, yes, how they have to move from one place to another, they have to travel a lot, oh uh, yes, then how they have done all these things, yes, so let us learn about that, transport, T-R-A-N-S-P-O-R-T, -S transport. The early humans traveled from one place to another by foot. Yes, they always travel by foot. They need to walk long distances. 
but walking with heavy loads such as stones then hundred animals etc consumed much energy yes they have they they get tired even after walking long distances because they need to travel from one place to another not only really traveling by tra by walking they have to carry heavy uh, loads and also uh, this hundred animals animals that are too heavy to carry so it was so difficult for them uh, so they felt so tired therefore to ease the burden to uh, make that burden easy hmm? what have they done they invented sledges yes what is sledges s l e d g e s sledges yes now you can see the image here of a sledge yes in a sledge they are carrying the hundred animal other things okay a sledge was made by joining flat pieces of wood yes that is actually sledge by joining flat pieces of wood they used to make sledge in that sledge they carry this hundred animals other heavy things later they placed rollers beneath the sledge to make it quicker and easier so what they placed rollers hmm? uh, rollers uh, like uh, a cylinder wheel type, like okay under the sledge so that they can carry they can move it quickly however the rod the, the round logs of wood would wear out soon means after using many times to use uh, so much for so long what happens we say it wear out after using too much so it started getting wearing out then they find another solution for that what to avoid wearing out of the round logs they began to cut out shorter pieces from it yes they use they cut shorter pieces and the shorter pieces of round logs were the first wheels the early man invented the first wheel early man invented is this shorter pieces of round logs for what purpose they have done this yes to keep under the sledge as wheels these wheels when attached to the sledges made the transport faster and easier now the traveling the transport became so easy so quick away because of cutting the shorter pieces of round logs and attaching it to the under the sledge this is how the first carts were formed the first carts were formed by this way or this manner yes to carry lots across the rivers they required different kinds of transport they saw the that hollow trunks of trees and logs of wood floating easily on water yes they found logs of wood floating very easily in the water after seeing that they got the idea they started tying logs of wood together to make a raft so you do you know what is a raft r a f t like a boat nowadays we say it as a boat b o a t boat yes this is a, a, a first boat made by humans raft r a f t raft they started tying the logs of wood together and they made a raft you can see the image of raft also here raft this is called raft children yes this is the first boat made by early humans yes they could now travel on these rafts and also carry heavy loads on the river so totally on the land on the river also they found a solution how to transport things heavy things those were the first boats made by humans which are the which are the first which were the first boats used by humans yes raft r a f t yes so transport problem also they solved how 
yes because they need to travel long distances with heavy loads and heavy things uh, it was very time consuming for them they used to travel by foot first they invented sledge then to carry it to move it also they was, were finding difficulties so they attached round logs of wood under it to make the transport more easier and quicker and at the same time on the river they found logs of wood floating very easily so they use using this idea they made raft by joining this logs of wood yes that were the or those were the first boards used by the early humans so the early humans used to hunt animals gather fruits from the forest for hunting animals they use tools how they use tools yes using sharp stones cutting it and making it into shapes yes then and they lived in caves in the jungles for building houses also they used to cut the wood and they started making that and also they hunted animals first at first they ate raw meat afterwards invented fire accidentally they understood how to cook food and they use fire then afterwards to make the transport easier and better and quicker and faster they made sledge and also they made the water transport easy easier by making raft yes so one by one they invented things to make the life more easier next is clothes nowadays we wear a variety of clothes isn't it yes we have different types of clothes different kinds of clothes uh, in summer season we wear cotton in winter we wear woolen clothes for function we wear costly silk clothes for your school you wear uniform so there are different types of clothes we wear daily isn't it yes we wear different clothes to protect ourselves in winters and summer the early humans did not have clothes like us so already you have seen the pictures of them at first you have seen no like apes they were they don't know even how to they didn't know how to walk afterwards they started walking straight that image you have seen there you might have noticed no clothes on the body isn't it on their body yes so they used leaves of trees and animal skin to cover the bodies these were the clothes what are their clothes actually children yes leaves leaves of trees and animal skin they use skin of animals and also leaves of trees to cover themselves these protected them against wind rain and heat so these kind of clothes that they wore uh, that they used to wear to protect themselves from what wind rain and heat later they learned to soften the leather to make clothes that were warm and more comfortable later they also came to know or they also started making clothes from were from the leather how were uh, do where did they get leather from the skin of animals they uh, using the tools they used to peel the skin of animals the hides isn't it yes so the sheep god huh? they you take they used to take the skin and afterwards so using some process they soften it using that they started making clothes that were warm and more comfortable the early humans stitched their own clothes with the help of needles the early humans then they started stitching clothes 
the on those days there were no tailors they themselves started stitching with needles with the help of needles how they made needles then these needles were made by sharpening animal bones at one end yes using the tools from the, from were they from the stones they used to make uh, tools using the tools they cut animals uh, or peel off animal skin and all yes then using that animal bone they by sharpening it and all they made tools in it yes same th that same way they made made needles also and using this needles they started stitching clothes for themselves from leather now 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 they know how to make clothes also yes now we know that early humans survived in a difficult and challenging environment yes long back millions of years ago how they have survived children yes they were in a challenging and challenging world that those days with very difficulty they survived they curiously observed nature yes very in a very eagerly or very eager they had some eagerness to watch what is happening in the nature so curiously they observed each and every minute thing in the nature and they made inventions like they started making tools they invented fire they invented wheels they invented boat yes they started finally they started making clothes also for themselves it was really really very challenging for them these inventions have enabled our species to survive on the earth yes because of this inventions help these inventions help them or to live to survive to live continuously on the earth if the early humans had not invented their first primitive stone tools we would not have various machines that make our life easier and comfortable today our life is very comfortable and very easy today because of all machines we have now all thanks to all the simple machines and, and this early humans made this machines also the, the, they were the first humans who started making all these things right yes now because of this machines machines made our life very very easier very comfortable isn't it with less effort we can do many things we perform much tasks big heavy tasks with less effort using the simple machines you have already learned about simple machines also isn't it yes so nowadays whatever we are using huh it is making our work to make our work easier isn't it washing machine we are using mixi we are using the ref ref refrigerator phones laptops whatever we have today is made up of machines the bicycle you use it's a machine so everything made our life very easier especially the machines yes but early humans lived in a challenging environment they survived in a very difficult way yes now it's time to recall children the early man looked more or less like apes yes starting you have noticed isn't the start, starting of the lesson you have noticed about that more or less like apes then early human lived in jungles inside the caves yes the early human ate wild fruits and roots they gathered fruits and also they dig the ground to get the fruits i mean the roots of plants early humans traveled from place to place by foot at first they used to travel from one place to another by foot afterwards they invented wheels and they made sledge and boat the early humans did not have clothes like us yes first they did not have clothes like us afterwards they they actually used skin of animals 
hmm, wants uh, skin of animals and leaves of trees to cover themselves then after they started using leather from leather they made soft on the leather and they made clothes and they stitch the clothes by themselves to keep them warm yes using the needles the needles they made from animal bonds yes so these are the main points that you have learned in the lesson so now you understood how the early humans survived those days millions and millions of years back long back when the earth was covered with thick forest uh, with full of uh, dangerous animals how they have survived in that forest can you imagine now in their place no isn't it yes so now this lesson has completed go through the lesson well children and read the lesson twice thrice see how they have survived how they have invented each and everything learn up, learn about early human okay